At the end of the marathon, four African runners crossed the finish line one at a time. The four athletes hailed from Kenya, Ethiopia, Morocco, and Uganda. And furthermore, we know the five following conditions. Patrick represented Kenya. The Kenyan runner finished before the Moroccan runner. Khalid was not from Ethiopia. Haley finished directly behind Patrick. Stephen, who was from Uganda, finished after Haley. The question asks, which of the following must be true? The Ethiopian finished ahead of the Moroccan runner. Khalid finished third. Hele was from Morocco. Stephen finished third. Or the Moroccan finished second. Which of these must be true? And that's typical wording for a problem like this. It can't possibly be true or be true in one scenario and not another. It must be true in all scenarios with certainty. This is a typical logical reasoning problem called an ordering. In fact, this is a special one called an ordering end pairing problem, where you not only have to put objects in order, like the winning dogs in a show, but you actually have to pair them up with the owners to help do that. So it's an ordering and pairing problem. The best first step for an ordering pairing problem is usually to put together what I call a pairing table. And that looks something like the following. Just taking the information we know and laying it out in an X, Y table. So for example, we know the people are Patrick, Haley, Stephen, and Khalid. These are the four runners. Likewise, we have the four countries that they're from we ultimately want to pair them to. And that is Ethiopia, Kenya, Uganda, and Morocco. The approach here is to link each runner to their respective country. And we'll do that by sifting through the information provided. Patrick represented Kenya. So right away we know we can check Patrick is from Kenya. That was easy. Good start. The Kenyan runner finished before the Moroccan runner. That information tells us order which we'll save for the second step of approaching an ordering and pairing problem. Khalid was not from Ethiopia, so we will put an X, a red X, for Khalid next to Ethiopia because he is not from Ethiopia. Haley finished directly behind Patrick. Again, that's ordering information, so we will save that for the next step. Stephen, who was from Uganda, Okay, we know Stephen is from Uganda. Finished after Haley, and that is, of course, also ordering information. So given what we know here from the information provided, we know Patrick is from Kenya, Stephen is from Uganda. That leaves two options for Khalid, either Ethiopia or Morocco. But the problem tells us that Khalid is not from Ethiopia. Therefore, he must be from Morocco. Khalid can't be from Kenya. That's Patrick. He can't be from Uganda. That was Stephen. And we know he's not from Ethiopia. So that only leaves Morocco. That tells us where Haley is from. He is from Ethiopia. So we can put a check to the, next to his name. Now we know where all four runners are from. We have paired them together with their countries. And that will be very useful as we go into the next step because some of our ordering information will rely on that pairing. All right, all right, all right. Let's put that pairs information off to the side for a moment so we can refer to it. We'll also show the different answer options so we can refer to those as necessary. We are going to take the second step and begin to order the runners as best we can from the information. We're probably going to create more than one ordered groups to represent all the scenarios if possible. The Kenyan runner finished before the Moroccan runner. We know the Kenyan runner is Patrick, the Moroccan runner is Khalid. So I'm just going to assume for a moment Patrick's in the first spot. That's not necessarily true, but we know Khalid is going to be somewhere behind him. And I'll just put K down here for a moment until we fill it in, because we don't know where. We just know Patrick's going to be before him. He could be right before him or several steps before him. The next information we get, Khalid was not from Ethiopia. That was pairing information. Haley finished directly behind Patrick. Ah, okay. So directly behind, and that's important, directly behind means he is literally the very next runner in order behind Patrick. Okay, let's continue. Stephen, who is from Uganda, 
finished after Haley. Okay, that could put Stephen here directly after Haley. Or it could put, we'll run another scenario. It could be Khalid and then Stephen because we don't know if Stephen is directly behind Haley or two steps behind Haley. But we do know Khalid and Stephen are behind Patrick and Haley and Haley is directly behind Patrick. Therefore, these two have to occupy the first two spots, Patrick and Haley. Patrick has to be the winner. Haley has to be second. Third and fourth are up for grabs and unknown. So let's review the answers. A. The Ethiopian finished ahead of the Moroccan. Well, that's essentially saying Haley finished ahead of Khalid. In either scenario, Haley is ahead of Khalid. Haley is ahead of Khalid. That is true. That is probably going to be our answer because that must be true. Let's just review the others to make sure that they are not correct. Khalid finished third. In scenario B, Khalid does finish third, but in another scenario, Khalid finishes fourth. So that is not necessarily true. Haley was from Morocco. Haley's from Ethiopia. We determined that in the first step. So that's clearly false. Stephen finished third. Again, we don't know if Stephen finished third as he does in the first scenario or if he finishes fourth in the second scenario. So that is not necessarily true. The Moroccan finished second. Well, we know Haley finished second, so that is absolutely false. And Haley is from Ethiopia. Khalid is from Morocco. We could have actually stopped once we determined the first answer was certainly true. And the correct answer is A, the Ethiopian finished ahead of the Moroccan. And in the future, remember, when you get ordering and pairing problems, it's best for step one to make a pairing table. Step two, list out all your ordering possibilities and scenarios. I hope this helped.